What's up YouTube, it's Jackal Goldkick, and welcome to another edition of JTK Tales, where I tell you about things that happened in my life. This time I'm gonna be talking about my PSP that was stolen. So back in the day, I used to have a PSP. I used to have a PlayStation Portable. I had a silver PSP with a nice, decent collection. I had a Tekken fighting game, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, Dante's Inferno, one of the God of War games, and then some movies for it. And I really liked the PSP. I never had a PS3, but the PSP was like the closest to the PS3 experience. And I really liked the PSP. It was a really cool handheld. My favorite games to play on it were Warriors Rochi 1 and 2. I played the hell out of those games on the PSP. I especially loved Warriors Rochi 2 on the PSP because it had extra content. You had extra costumes. You had extra characters. It was really cool. I loved my PSP. It was just a nice handheld. It was really awesome, and I liked it. Well, how it got stolen from me was one of the trailers I used to live at. We had some people staying there, and eventually, like, one of the people that was staying there, they eventually stopped staying there and moved out. And after a while, I noticed that I couldn't, like, find my PSP anymore. And, you know, I would know, and we would know, the people I was living with, my family, we would know if we saw it, and we were looking for it. And I would look for it, and it's like the PSP just up and vanished and the PlayStation Portable just it up and vanished and that's when at that point we knew something was up so we couldn't find the PSP at all in the trailer and we just you know we and even I we came to the conclusion that it was stolen I mean where else could it have gone you know the PSP I had I had and I liked it and I would have no reason to get rid of it it wouldn't just walk off on its own it doesn't have legs and most likely what happened is the people I the people that were staying at that place one of them stole the PSP and probably sold it for something. I think it was like, yeah, it was a woman that was staying there with a dude. And I think she was the one that stole the PSP. And then she like sold it for drugs or something. And I lost my PSP. And it really sucked. It really sucked. That's why I had to rant on Thieves with the Flame 97 back in the day. Um, and it just sucks that my PSP got stolen. Because the PSP was an awesome handheld and I really like it. It was a really cool handheld. And it was just, it was awesome. It was an awesome gaming machine. And it just sucks that it got stolen from me, from that woman that was staying with us. Um, I mean, I never, we didn't catch her in the act, but you can, you can put pieces together and, you know, it's obvious. You have a certain item at your home. It doesn't show up anymore. And it stops showing up when you had certain people stay at your place and then those certain people leave. Something's definitely up. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist and it doesn't take a, a genius or Stephen Hawking to put two and two together and realize what's what really happened and I know damn well my PSP was stolen because if if it wasn't stolen then I would have I would have found it by now I would have found it by now it would have been recovered it was stolen I had my PSP stolen from that woman that was staying there woman and a dude that was staying there and that's why you got to be careful with who you let in your house you got to be careful with who you let stay in your place because some people are bitch made and they'll steal from you and they'll do all kinds of crazy shit so that's definitely a lesson to learn that you got to be careful of who you let in your house and you got to be careful of who you let stay at your house because some people have certain intentions you might not know about and that's most likely what happened is those people that stayed there they stole my psp and or the woman i think it was she stole the psp and it's just unfortunate because i do miss that psp i never got a new one but you know, I could, I could always get a new PSP one day, I guess, but, but I do miss the PSP. It was a good handheld machine, and it sucks that it was stolen from me. Very unfortunate. I never got a PS Vita, so I don't know how that handheld is. But, yeah, I did have a PSP at one point. Definitely miss having that thing. That's why I hate thieves. Fuck thieves. The only time that I would defend thieves or not have an issue with thieves is if you're someone that is starving and you don't have no money you got to steal food from the supermarket or someone that just needs to steal food from a grocery store to feed their family now, I, don't, I don't care about that that's that's food on a grocery shelf you know fuck it they you know people need food to survive but when you're taking belongings from people and you know stuff that isn't yours and it's not a situation where you either need to steal something for your family so they can eat or they're gonna die that's, that's the only time i'll give thievery an exception but when it comes to stealing other people's belongings and stealing shit that isn't yours fuck that shit the psp was a cool handheld it could you could listen to music on it you could watch movies on it you could play games on it it was great and you could take it anywhere with you 
you could, it was just, it was just great overall. Loved playing Warriors Virtue 1 on it, loved playing Warriors Virtue 2 on it. I remember playing Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection on it. There was an exclusive character in that version. I think his name was like, I can't remember his name, but he was like a, a Russian dude. He looked like a Russian Marilyn Manson, basically. That game was good. The music I had on there. I remember some of the songs I had on the PSP was like, I think some little white songs and then some of Young Buck's songs from his second album, Buck the World. Um, so it was just, it was a cool handheld. You could also hook it up to the TV, but when I tried that, there was no audio. I was younger uh, when I tried to do that. And that's one thing I forgot to mention in this JGK Tales story is when I had this PSP and when it was stolen, I can't exactly remember the time frame, but it was definitely when I was like a kid. It was, it was like when I was a kid. I would say, I would say somewhere before somewhere before 2013 I, I don't know i can't remember it was it was either in the late 2000s or early 2010s when i was a kid that's sort of when i had my psp in when it was stolen but i just can't fully remember the details but that's really all i gotta say in this video of talking about my psp that got stolen i had a silver one it was great and it sucks that it got stolen and yeah def I, I i guess we should have and I should have tried to do something about the PSP getting stolen. Like we probably should have like tried to find the person that did it or, you know, get them arrested. But, you know, it, it was a situation where they were staying with us. And then when they left, the PSP was gone. And it was one of those things where you weren't really able to catch someone in the act. So even if we tried to, we didn't really have any sufficient evidence for it. But, you know, it, it was obvious it was stolen. I mean, come on. It was something I liked. I had it was at the place and then it just disappears around the time these people are staying at our place and then they leave and it's gone like you can put two and two together and realize what happened to it so that's all i gotta say in this video in this edition of jgk tales peace